Hello mathematicians, this is Mr. Almeida again. Hope you're doing well. This video is going to talk about uh, our continued uh, discussion about division and in particular the two meanings of division and how they uh, relate to um, the division of fractions. So the division is actually just a missing factor problem as we discussed in the previous video, but there are two ways to think about uh, this division question or any division question um, that you're given. So this division expression here of 5 divided by 2 thirds um, could be thought of in two different ways even though we'll get the same quotient um, or the same number that multiplies 2 thirds to give us 5. The first way to think about it is to look at your divisor and ask yourself one question. How many groups of the divisor are in the dividend? And in this case, it would be how many groups of two-thirds are in five. So the very first task that I must do if I'm going to answer that question is I have to model five. So I'm going to draw five separate holes. As you can see, I've done that right here. One hole, two holes, three holes, four holes, and five holes. And I'm going to partition um, or break up. Uh, each hole into three equal parts because then each one of these parts will be called thirds. So I have three parts here, three parts there, partition this into three parts, this one and that one. And now I need to um, shade in uh, five holes. So I'm going to shade in five holes now. One hole, two holes, three holes, four holes, and five whole units, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make groups of two-thirds. That's my divisor right here. So I'm going to make groups of two-thirds. Each one of these pieces is now called, smaller pieces, is called one-third. So I'm going to make groups of two-thirds. So let me model that. This is one group of two-thirds. So I would continue to do this. I'm going to make another group of two-thirds. And there are two parts that make up a group. So one of these um, represents half of the group. So making three groups of two-thirds, four groups of two-thirds, five groups of two-thirds, six groups of two-thirds, seven groups of two-thirds, and I'm going to make another group of two, but I only have one of those parts. So how many whole groups of, of two-thirds can I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can get seven whole groups. And how much of this group right here? Well, each one of these pieces in the group, it, it, this group's made of two equal parts. So each piece is called half of the group. And I have one half of the group. So this is seven and a half. So the answer to this quotient, or the number that uh, would multiply two thirds to give me five, would be um, seven and a half. So I can fit seven and a half groups of two thirds in five. And that's why this quotient is seven and a half. Okay? So that's the first way to think about uh, division. Um, the other way to think about a division expression is to um, use the partitive interpretation or think about it in terms of trying to find a part. So um, with partitive, you're trying, you're given uh, a certain part of what the whole is and you're trying to find out what the whole is. So this would be uh, two thirds times what number or two-thirds of what number would be five. Um, so let's model this way. So the very first thing I have to do is I have to model what my number is. So I don't know what that is. So I'm going to draw my hole, but I don't know what this number is. So I'm drawing the number I don't know yet. But I do know something. I do know that if I partition that um, that number into three equal parts. So let me do that now. Partition it into three equal parts. And I mark off two of those parts. 
that two of those parts is going to be 5. So 2 thirds of the whole number that I don't know yet is 5. So that's what this is. So now I, I think back um, to what I, I know about this model. And if I look at this model, there are two parts to the two of these smaller parts that are making up 5. So 5 is being divided amongst two equal parts. But if I want to find out what one of these parts is, I'm finding what 1 half of 5 is. So I would... To find out what one of these units is, so one unit would be one half of five. And uh, if you haven't multiplied fractions um, with other numbers, you might want to go back and watch some of the videos that I have on that. Um, but I, I'm, I'm thinking that if you're watching this video, you have a firm understanding of that. So uh, 1 half times 5 would be five, uh, 1 times 5 and then divided by 2. So 1 times 5 is 5, and then 5 divided by 2 is 5 halves. So one of these smaller units would be 5 halves, but I don't want to find uh, one unit. I want to find all three units because that's what my question mark's asking me to find. So I'm going to take three copies of, and copies of is just multiplication. So I'm going to take three copies of five halves. And when I do that, I'm going to take three copies of five, and that's 15. And these pieces are called halves. So 15 halves. Now, you might be looking at this number right here and this number right here and uh, saying to yourself, well, they don't look like the exact same number. But this right here is a fraction, and fractions, um, provided that they're greater than 1, can be written as mixed numbers. So how would I do that? I would take 15 and I would divide it by 2, or ask myself, how many groups of 2 halves are in, um, are in 15 halves? So I, I count by 2, and the pieces are called halves. So I can count by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, um, sorry, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, uh, 14, uh, 16, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, uh, 16, and 16 is too much. So I can't get to 8 holes, but I can get 7 holes. Sometimes when you're counting and, and doing math and you've been doing math for a while, uh, sometimes you have to recount yourself. Um, so we have seven holes, and I'm at 14 halves now, and how many more halves have to get added to that? One more half. So there's your seven and a half right there. Okay? So both of these will give you the exact same quotient, but there are two different ways to think about the, uh, the exact same division expression. The reason why is because if you remember back from our video, uh, there, are two different, um, there are two different factors that give you a product uh, when you're multiplying and if one of the factors is the first number then you're trying to find the number of groups and if the uh, second factor in a multiplication expression is what you're missing and that's what makes it a division problem a missing factor um, then you'd be finding uh, the partitive um, interpretation of division so I hoped that this video helped you to understand uh, the two different interpretations of division and you can use this information as you are creating visual models to help you to understand uh, the concept of division of fractions throughout the rest of this video series. So I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and uh, share your ideas with the rest of the people who are commenting below. Have a good one. Thanks.